guys, if you're tuning in, uh, I'm guessing you are a bit more serious about drawing than your average YouTube viewer. So um, I'm going to walk you through the creation of this cover. We are in the proposal stage. It hasn't been approved yet. Um, it's still going to go through uh, deliberation from the editors. It's a varied cover, so the requirements aren't that strict. Uh, we're just, uh, we just need to come up with a good image. So let's get to it. So uh, this is how we usually starts with um, stick drawings, basic um, um, drawing techniques that you've seen in books. And um, so just uh, this is a, a atypical cover for me. It's a montage style cover. Usually I drew, I do, I'm not sure what it's called, more scenic covers, just uh, splash pages of the whole team or a scene uh, in a comic book. But this is more of a true Struzen type of cover or what um, Olivier, Olivier Coppel does. It's, it's a montage, just different uh, cool scenes, cool characters in from different shots in, in the book and just um, um, meshed together to form a nice uh, cover. It's actually the cover style I prefer, but um, in comic books, um, it's very um, rare that uh, this is used. Uh, not not rare, it's just less preferred, I guess. The usual cover style imparts more of the story than, than the montage uh, style. <clears throat> So um, yeah, it's um I do it digitally, so I'll have more um uh, freedom to to explore and try stuff. And um, yeah, moving things around because it's digital, and that's one of the best parts of digital. You just can you have more freedom to experiment. And um, so yeah, I'm I'm adjusting the opacity so I can draw over it again. It's it's nothing really um, different from from traditional pencil and paper drawings. Um, with paper and pencil, usually you you use an eraser to to lighten up the the initial sketch, or use a a blue pencil like Olivier Coppel does, or we use a light box. Which uh, if you're an artist, you would want to invest on a light box. If you're not into digital yet. At the very least, you should have a light box, and I think uh, bookstores now carry the LED light boxes, which are reasonably priced. Uh, they're very light and thin. You could bring them to conventions, and you could carry them around easily because of the technology, LED, LED technology. Before, it used to be r literally boxes made of wood and plastic. So this is Star-Lord. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, so you, this is how I draw. Um, it's um, you may not see the, the the guidelines too much. That you know the the cross and the the well, you can actually see it from the from the blue lines there. But um, I still think about those things, those those um, basic uh, drawing um, um, guides. You should have enough, you know, the cranium should be complete. Actually, in this drawing, um, uh, the, the head should be rounder. It should have more space for the brain, for the skull. And you could notice that I'd be constantly adjusting that part of the head. Um, it's a different angle. Um, you can see that I made a mistake with the hands and the, the biceps there. It's, <laughs> it's funny. But I wasn't able to catch that uh, immediately. But I, I would be adjusting that part um, in a few seconds from now because this video is sped up. Um, so yeah, the angle of the of the bicep and the arm doesn't make sense. And I'm gonna yeah there. So I fix that. Um, and that's more like it. So yeah, it's uh, just. Um, so I drew um, Star Lord and in each individual characters in different layers, so I could make adjustments later and move them around. I moved, you know, I adjusted his nose, um, just so because uh, um, I was making it a point that the eyes and the tip of the nose make a perfect 
perfect um, triangle. If you look at the, you know, all the basic ana uh, anatomy books, uh, that will be omnipresent. That that rule of thumb. It's uh, a bit basic. If you have your like uh, Andrew Loomis books, if you have your How to Draw a Marvel a comic, uh, How to Draw Comics a Marvel A book, and that's the, that's a constant. Um, and even if you look at the base, uh, any um, how to draw um, articles on YouTube, um, and the internet, and uh, videos on YouTube, it's it's omnipresent. And by now, you should know these basic things. You know, the figures involves uh, the eight heads or eight and a half heads if you want them more heroic. Um, and these things, um, just just. Uh, so I recommend you guys checking out um, Andrew Loomis. I haven't been updated, but um, well, there should there should there should be more um, updated books by now. I also recommend channels uh, on YouTube: um, Ahmed Alduri and Cynics. Um, I've been tweeting about them for a while now. I really enjoy their videos. Um, I'm sure you guys would could learn from them, as I am. And now I'm drawing um, Drax, and uh, I'm not sure. Slight resemblance to um, to Batista. I'm not sure, but uh, I I w I'm not really aiming for likeness. I'm I'm they're intentionally intentionally um, r still you know my style. Um, I'm not big into photorealism most of the time. So yeah, I just move the layers around. I cut that part and I move them down the below the screen layer to turn it green and then draw over it again. Um, most of these things you can do traditionally is just harder, you know, just uh, involves scissors and stuff. <laughs> but again, you got. I think to be competitive in this day and age, you need you need to go digital, guys. You should be doing both at the very least. Or you can just go all digital. You could do so much stuff, and uh, you, could, you know, when your clients ask for character designs, you could just, you know, come up with new designs using just variations of designs effortlessly, and that would have been impossible with just pencil and paper, without really crying your, <laughs> uh, working your ass off. So there, I drew Drax in a different layer so I could move him around. Um, I'm now working on, oh, that's the referen the references sent to me. I'm working on a, a mobile studio pro, so the screen real estate is quite limited. Uh, I could, you know, I wish it was bigger, but you know, it's, it's, it, that's why it's mobile, so. Um, Gamora. Um, yep, uh, um, so I changed the, the, this is the closer to the, to the final look than the original sketch, the, the blue sketch, what you see. So I guess I decided to change it. Um, it's been a while since I drew this. It's, uh, it's been weeks, months, I don't know. And, um. Yeah, I'm always looking at the uh, references and um, you know, if I drew this in the '90s, she would be, she would have her ass out, sticking out and <laughs> looking sexy as hell. And but now, you know, we raise our consciousness. We're now, uh, our drawings are informed. Uh, by you know more um, progressive uh, views, and I you know I agree about I I agree with that, and um, as long as it's not too dogmatic, and you know we can still have a space for uh, sexiness when it's you know when it's appropriate, or you know from time to time, it's um, so Rocket Raccoon on a different layer. Mm, I enjoy drawing him. Um, and mm, um, looks decent. 
Um, yeah, the guns, the, the guns are the hardest part. I, I just, it's easy to draw rocket, um, without the guns, but with the guns, you know, you need more, um, it takes more time, but actually it's an easy drawing to do and it's cute. And I guess, you know, um, yeah, just, uh, Typical space guns. <laughs> also, you notice me flipping the, the image back and forth because that gives me a fresh perspective. It shows me the mistakes that I make. Um, I'm actually quite dependent on flipping the image. A lot of artists don't need that. And I, when I was doing um, traditional uh, drawings, I wasn't do, doing that as much because it was harder to do and um, now it's just so easy to do it. So I flip it all the time. Every five minutes I flip the drawing and then work on it and I flip the drawing again. And, but I think I'm getting too dependent. It's not really necessary. Like guys like Kim Jung Ji, you know, he draws on walls and without flipping the image and uh, comes up with such amazing drawings. It's crazy. Um, but you know, it's it's like right now I'm just addicted to just working on the image back and forth, flipping it um, horizontally and sometimes flipping it vertically just to so I could uh, see the mistakes. I could see, you know, you know the asymmetry mm, if the nose is off, you know, and stuff like that. So this is actually a bit more um, detailed for a sketch. Um, normally it would be rougher than this, but since this is a variant cover, I was confident that this would be approved. And um, I also noticed that the effort you put in this sketch, it actually correlates with the, it, with the approval. If you, you know, if you make the sketch look nice, they would approve it. And uh, usually when I um, make cover, I send in, a, you know, three to four sketches. But this time, since this is a variant, I'm, you know, it's just something, I'm just making sure I come up with something cool. And um, I just came up with one and yeah, they approved it. Um, right now, I'm just, I'm just selling the cover right now. I, I really do not need to do this, but you know, I'm just having fun. This is just a few minutes worth of rendering. Not really a few minutes, it's uh, about times three is I think this is about six minutes worth of rendering um, just you know so it will look cooler and so the editors would like it more because I don't want to <laughs> have to come up with more um, sketches so I'm using a different brush I'm using uh, this is the first time I use this brush it's uh, it's I'm having a hard time actually adjusting to it it's like a marker it's like a marker brush and I'm, I'm usually used to fo the Photoshop engine and uh, right now I'm using a Manga Studio engine. It works differently a little bit, but you know, some adjustment, uh, after a few minutes you figure it out what's different about the brush. And you know, just doing grayscales and stuff. Um, for the final um, art, I, I had to change a few stuff. Um, Star-Lord's gun. Um, it's not his, uh, his gun is a bit, uh, different from this one. It's, um, the design is just different. You'll see in the next video f when I'm going to post the, the pencils and ink stage, which is quite interesting. You guys, uh, watch out for it. It's, um, it's a first person perspective, almost. No, it's not a first person. It's another video coming soon. Um, yeah, so this is the way the, I work on quick layouts and hopefully you guys learned something and see you on the next video. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like what you see. Um, it's probably just a few of you who will be watching this, but you know, as long as I you know, helped out a couple of people, that's great. And thank you and uh, see you next time.